What's up guys, it's Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing with this video is basically another Pro Tools tutorial video from my Pro Tools series, showing you guys or you new users to Pro Tools, how to use Pro Tools, how to navigate around Pro Tools, how to do a lot of cool things inside of Pro Tools to get some professional mixing, some recording going, or just anything fun like voiceovers or whatever the case may be. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys a lot of things inside of these tutorials. So if you are new to Pro Tools or if you've been using Pro Tools for a while you may need another uh, refreshment or something like that on something in the basics or just a cool feature that you may or may not know about if you are new to this channel be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future let's jump to it with this particular video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is pretty much how to kind of organize some of your tracks and some of the things that you can do to kind of prepare yourself to get ready to start recording. So I'm going to show you guys a little track color. I'm going to show you how I kind of like to organize a few things or get things a little bit ready to go. But this is a session that I did for a beat uh, that I produced and I went ahead and recorded some vocals to and I went ahead and got another artist to feature on it. Shout out to Noda. All right. So check it out. Um... Let me go ahead and play some of this real quick. Overnight stay, overnight stay, I'ma get you right in your overnight stay. Sit back and relax, let me calm you down. Can't stick you with this RV if you move it round. I just gotta feel around and find your vein. And I can guarantee that you won't feel okay. Remind me what your symptoms are. And now I'll take care of all of them. You're dealing with something and I'm gonna have to sedate you Hey, give me a thumbs up if you think this song is dope so far. If you think it's just some dope R&B, if you love the vocals, if you love the mix, everything that I did in it so far, just give me a thumbs up for that. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. I think it's very important that you name tracks, that you color code tracks, all these different things. All right, so you want to go ahead and go up to setup and go down to preferences. <clears throat> and then what I personally like to do is I like to go to... There's you all you have all these different tabs at the top display operations editing mixing metering processing MIDI etc. These are all your different parameters that you're going to have inside of uh, your Pro Tools preferences that you're going to be able to make some edits and changes to in a process. So for me I like to go ahead and go to um, display first and when I go to display let's say we went down to um, said we organized our plugins. If you organize your plugins by category and manufacturer, uh, category and manufacturer or manufacturer category list or whatever the case may be, this is going to determine how your plugins are actually set up inside of your inserts. And I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So right now I have it on category and manufacturer. So let's go ahead and hit OK. OK, so once we do that, you can either hit control equal or control plus button. We're going to go to the mix window. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom and let's just go to a random insert and let's see what our inserts look like. So when I go to multi channel plugin, as you can see, it has EQ, dynamics, uh, pitch shift, reverb, delay, etc. This is pretty much all in order for me because of how I set it up from category and manufacture. So that means that the category is going to have EQ and it's going to have all the EQs. Dynamics is going to have all my compressors and things like that. Pitch shift, obviously any type of effects or pitch shift in vocals or any type of auto tunes or whatever the case may be. Reverbs, all in one category, etc. But down here at the bottom, you're going to see air music technology. This is going to be a lot of the Pro Tools stuff that they have all in one order or by manufacturer. It's all in the same order. So you're going to see a lot of those uh, particular effects. That's for that. Then if you go down to Avid's other stuff, they have more plugins, EQs, compressors, um, you know, just different things to go with it. Now, I'm not really sure why FL Studio is in that. I'm still trying to figure that out, but it doesn't really matter. Um, Meta plugin is another manufacturer, so it's going to have its plugin here as well. Uh, KV331 Audio is another manufacturer. Obviously, Omnisphere is its own and, you know, Waves audio so here's all my ways plugins here that's the type of order that is going to put it in so if i go to setup and i go to preferences and say if i decide to change organize plugins and menus and i change it to just let's say category and we're going to hit okay once i hit okay on that let's just go ahead and see what that's going to do now if you notice the ones at the bottom they're not there anymore 
So it's just going to be by category now. So EQs, dynamics, pitch shift, reverb, delays, etc. That's how everything is pretty much set up in the process, okay? So that's just something to keep in mind. But I personally like mine on category and manufacturer. That works best out works best for me. Okay, so then also another thing that you can do is there's this thing here that's called color coding. And what you can do in the process is default clip color coding. I have tracks and MIDI channels. Now, if you went ahead and, you know, change these around the track colors or whatever you wanted to change, I'll show you what I can do in the process. So if I wanted to some of these tracks to kind of match, I'm going to just show you a few things that you can do. Say if I went down and I wanted my lead vocals. I wanted my lead vocals to be a particular color. I will hold down shift click from lead one to lead three. I will double click down here on a blue color and then I will go ahead and hit red. So if you hit this button here, this is going to saturate the whole entire thing and then you'll be able to change it to more saturated if you, you know, if you like that for your eyes or whatever. Uh, or you can get more brightness if you want to do that. I personally don't do that. That's not my thing. But if I like my tracks to be a little saturated, you go ahead and do that. And you can just change the color whenever you want. Okay, now in the process, the positive benefit about this is that it kind of organizes everything for you. So if you want your leads to be separated from uh, any of your background vocals or whatever the case may be, then you can color code it and change those colors. If you're dealing with drums and instrumentations and say you want your kick drums or your 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 bass drum or whatever the case may be to go ahead and be red and you want like your cymbals and hi-hats and all that other stuff to be orange and maybe your toms a different color, then you can change that and color code them, set those groups up and be able to modify edit and do whatever you need to do to that particular group so it's a really cool feature in a process okay other than that um anything else that uh, that i feel is more important in a process is really just knowing how to organize your track so whenever you go in and hit uh shift control in which is going to create a new track you know and you did like uh if you hold down control over Left and right is going to change the stereo to mono and then control up and down. Page up and page down is going to change from instrument, audio, MIDI, aux, etc. You know, it's going to do that in the process. Say if you create a track. One thing that is going to be very key is to always double click your track before recording. In my, in my opinion, I think this is very best. And go ahead and type in lead or lead vocal or background vocal or you know extra vocal or sound effect or whatever the case may be name your track you definitely want to name your track so you can organize your entire session when you do that everything that you name say hypothetically if i just uh highlight these vocals over here if you notice that once i highlight those vocals all my vocals that i highlighted on this side they lit up so whenever I need to go ahead and send this session to somebody else or I want to consolidate this session, everything will be go everything will be set up for me ready to go. Those particular tracks can be the only ones that I have in a session. So my session isn't clouded or basically um cluttered with a bunch of extra tracks that I don't need in this session. So that's something to keep in mind. That's the way that you will organize your uh, tracks. That's the way that you will color code your tracks inside of Pro Tools. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how you can consolidate some of your vocals to go ahead and get it ready to send that session off to somebody else. There's ways there's different ways that people do it but i want kind of want to show you guys what i do in the process all right guys so that's pretty much it for this video uh i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up hit that like button leave me some comments and let me know what you think do you like the color changing feature inside of pro tools do you think that it helps uh do you think that it'll help your sessions out uh also what about the organization of the manufacturer and the category of your plugins don't you love the ability to be able to know where your plugins are to find your plugins by manufacturer instead of trying to find them by individual and going through, you know, 20 to 50 different plugins. I love the ability to be able to find a manufacturer of a certain type of plugin that I have and to be able to use that one. So I think it's a great feature in the process. Also, what do you think about naming your tracks? 
Do you think that it's helpful? Do you think that it can benefit you? If so, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And I guarantee you guys, if you start utilizing this, mixing your sessions is going to run smoothly. Recording your sessions and setting your sessions up is going to run smoothly. Everything is going to be organized, ready to go. So guys, utilize that feature. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you haven't went to go check out my other Pro Tools videos, go check them out because you may learn something. Please share these videos with your students or your friends, or even if you want to buy Pro Tools for your kid or something like that or a friend and they need to know how to use pro tools these videos will help them get up and running so i really appreciate you guys watching this video stay tuned for more peace Your symptoms are And I'll take care of all of them You're dealing with something deeper And I'm gonna have to sedate you Yeah, we feel the pain deep inside you So I gotta